What is up everybody, it is King Kunta, and today I am bringing you another video. And uh, today we are going to be talking about the professions that you need to get before Battle for Azeroth releases. So this video is kind of just a precursor to Battle for Azeroth. As you know, kind of most gold farms are getting worn out around this time as we're all just awaiting the release of the new expansion. But that still gives us time to focus on some other things, such as our professions going into the next expansion and ways to make gold uh, using those. So, first things first, I'm going to get right down to business. So, historically in World of Warcraft, there have been two professions at the start of every expansion that do notoriously well. And the prices on them are quite, like off the charts actually uh, there's no really other word to describe that in the fact that when a new expansion releases in world of warcraft herbalism and mining are the two most profitable professions you can have at the very beginning of the expansion now notice i said the very beginning of the expansion that is because during the very beginning of the expansion all the tailors blacksmiths uh engineers uh stuff that use those mats to create gear are looking for ways to power level themselves basically to get through the expansion try to get towards the end and a rating as soon as possible now what they need to get all of that gear is tons of mats now the only way to get those mats is to pay for them on the auction house and since there's not a ton of them being farmed up yet because everybody's doing the content they have to pay a premium so the two professions that I recommend you guys level completely before you guys get or uh, before Battle for Azeroth launches is herbalism and mining. Remember, herbalism and mining are the two most viable and are always insane at the beginning. Now, as we get later into the expansion, things start to shift around a little bit and change. We can see engineering become a little bit more prominent as well as uh, other things such as blacksmithing and tailoring that are always quite good uh, a little bit later into the expansion. So, if you guys did want to not like constrict yourself to having herbalism and mining characters, if you guys have different uh, alts that are max level that you plan on uh, mining with, and s or m not mining with, I'm sorry, but uh, switching professions with, uh, you can switch them up, such as like uh, mining and jewel crafting go well together at the, uh, about, uh, I wouldn't say right at the beginning, but maybe, you know, a month into the expansion, those normally start to do uh, better. Also, alchemy and herbalism start to do better, or, oh my gosh, I know you guys just heard that, but they start to do better towards the end of the expansion because people need uh, all the pots and stuff for uh, raiding and to, and to progress into end level content. So those are really the two uh, professions that you guys really need to work on right now. Uh, I personally, on my main, I, uh, I'm leveling mining and herbalism. That is just what I am doing. You can take my advice if you like. Uh, if you don't want to, then I guess it's up to you. But actually, later into the expansion, I am going to switch it over. And I think I'm going to take uh, inscription, maybe. Uh, maybe for some of the uh, rep uh, gains and stuff like that towards the, the middle of the expansion, but that is not uh, set in stone yet. But I will be uh, covering all of the uh, professions, and you know, if there's any kind of way to make more gold with them at the beginning of the expansion or some way, I will be covering that. And also, um, I am thinking about uh, you know, maybe doing a 24 hour live stream or something like that as soon as the expansion releases on YouTube. Um, if you guys think that that would be cool and that's something you guys would enjoy, let me know and uh, down in the comments and I might actually do it. Also, check out the links in the description. Uh, I've actually got a link to purchase Battle for Azeroth at the cheapest price possible in the link in the description below. And also, it'll be linked in the comments section. So you, if you want to get Battle for Azeroth now, you can do that there. And uh, that's the cheapest you can really find it. Um, also, I've got all the links to my camera gear, uh, you know, all my computer specs, good stuff like that in the description below as well. So that's really it for this video. If you guys liked it, um, if you could leave maybe a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribe, that would really help me out. It, you know, always showing support to the channel, helps me grow my channel, helps me, you know, stay here on YouTube and live in this little cave that we call, uh, my computer sitting at a desk making YouTube videos. So... Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.